If you want to examine and understand a certain terrain, one of the best tool to turn to is a map. We all know maps are of different kinds and each of them reveal different kinds of information about the terrain. For example, you could have physical maps, political maps, climatic maps, maps depicting roads, rails and other transport networks and so forth. Depending on what information you need and how you want to work with the terrain, you would choose an appropriate kind of map that provides this information or you might choose to use a combination of them. Business architecture uses a similar approach to comprehending the enterprise. In this section, we will be looking at various tools that are employed in the business architecture to comprehend the enterprise from various perspectives. Specifically, we will be looking at the following four foundational maps. Capability maps, value maps, information maps, and organization maps. Together, they are referred to as the four legs of the business architecture blueprint as they represent the stable baseline set of artifacts that describes the enterprise from the business perspective. They can be used as the foundation for further analysis to derive other maps such as strategy maps, initiative maps, stakeholder maps, etc. So let's try and understand these tools in more detail. We'll begin with capability maps. A capability signifies specific ability or capacity that an enterprise possesses to do something. In other words, they represent the basic building blocks of an enterprise when viewed from the perspective of what the enterprise actually does. Capability map attempts to capture and describe the enterprise in terms of building blocks of what it does without going into the details of why and how things get done. The capability building blocks represents the vocabulary or nouns that can be reused by all other business architecture artifacts. The capability maps usually is represented in multiple levels ranging from level 1 to level 6. Level 1 to level 3 represent higher level abstractions of capabilities and hence are appropriate to be used in the context of strategy formulation and strategy planning. However, level 4 to level 6 are more granular and hence are used for detailed business to IT alignment mapping exercises. <laughs>